First of all, obviously, I'm very, very honored for, for this privilege. Uh, I was kind of tickled pink that there's a Hall of Fame for engineers. <laughs> I, I think that's kind of fun. Uh, I think maybe we should have one. The courses were great, of course, um, but I think the thing that uh, made me who I am intellectually were my peers, my classmates. Uh, I spent a lot of times, many nights, talking to wee hours in the morning about uh, what it meant to design AI systems. You know, so uh, I, I think I couldn't have done anything better for myself intellectually than uh, decide to do AI as a focus in computer science. Uh, it forces you to think about all the issues all around design systems and, in fact, philosophy, epistemology, you know, and even ethics. Um, and I think some of these issues are coming to the fore in uh, the industry today. You look for people that want to make a difference. People whose purpose is very clear and it's beyond making money. It's about making impact, uh, making a difference. And you look for people who think deeply about what they do. Um, it's, it's strange, but you know, businesses survive better if the founders you know, are not superficial. Um, that's the nature of entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship. Yeah, I, th I think Illinois grads are a special breed. Um, you know, half the, about half the pay PayPal Mafia are Illinois grads, right, and a whole bunch of others. Um, I think it's the, the, the Midwestern work ethic. You know, uh, we just work hard, and we think that it's our duty to work hard, uh, combined with, you know, the, a deep understanding of technology and what, what it can do for society uh, and the desire to make a difference. You know, that I think those qualities you find pretty consistently in Illinois grads uh, and they do stand out. It was the snow actually. <laughs> you know, um, going, going home at 3 a.m. from the labs uh, with piles of snow, you know, it, th those things you, you never you never forget, right? Because you're working hard all day long and then you need to go get some sleep and you're walking through piles of snow. And at 3 a.m. in the morning, there's this guy running around, you know, he's getting some exercise. Those are times that you, you never reproduce, right? Um, and uh, it's, it's the, the roommates, it's the people you, you have fun with, it's the professors you have deep, deep, deep discussions with. We started, uh, Monks Hill started a scholarship in Indonesia. Uh, we gave it to 15 computer science students and it's called the Computer Science Leaders Scholarship. And what we realized is that more and more of society depends on where technology is pushing us. And our leaders are not well informed necessarily about, um, about what technology is capable of, right? The, the, the kind of philosophical questions that uh, self-driving cars make us think about, right? It's just unexpected. Uh, and, and we have to be aware of these issues as we uh, deploy technology throughout society. You know, even dating, and how it, as we talked about, how, how it's evolved uh, social norms, right? Uh, we stumbled into that. We didn't think about it. We just went there and realized, oh, it's changed, right? So, um, I think the, the, I guess the point I'm making here is that you will be, as an engineer, as a computer science graduate, uh, much more responsible for where society is going. So it is your duty to understand society and not just engineering, and what your decisions in engineering, uh, what impact they will have in society. I think. That's the thinking I'd like to see more and more of uh, computer science and engineering students uh, 
go through, right? As opposed to just technical. We want, uh, I guess, technical grounded leaders, uh, if you will, as opposed to just engineers.